All right, let's come back to France with another big story here. And there are troubles at Air France that are continuing. Our business editor, Delano D'Souza, is here to tell us a bit more about that. Hi, Delano. Thanks, Jeannie. The crisis at the French flag carrier continues to rumble on. Employees at the airline have until 6 p.m. on Friday to vote on a proposal of a 7 percent wage increase over the next four years. Air France's chief executive has placed his job on the line if the internal referendum doesn't go his way. Strikes at Air France since the start of this year have cost the airline Line over 300 million euros, and the SNPL Pilots Union have called for a fresh strike on Thursday. For more on this story, I'm joined by Beltran Ibarra, a union representative of the SNPL Pilots Union. Thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. There's a fresh strike call for tomorrow and Friday by your pilots' union. What are you hoping to achieve? Well, we hope to achieve to demonstrate that the uh, referendum that was called by the uh, the management, the Air France management, uh, is only distraction from the uh, the real goal. The uh, the deal that's on the table doesn't really answer what we, our demands were. We're asking for a catch up for the inflation from 2012 up to 2018, and the answer is pay raises for the next few years. So ignoring the past. So we say, okay. We can talk about the future, but first we should talk about the past. But the CFTT union, which represents ground staff, say are telling employees to vote in favor of the, the Air France's offer. Why is your union holding the airline hostage? Well, two things. First, uh, CFTT is calling to vote yes because they already voted yes to a pay raise of 1 percent, which was considered, considered insufficient by the other unions. And secondly, the um, CFDT calling us taking hostages, the, uh, the passengers. I think it's a way way of the line to, to use those terrorist terms to call us that. But Air France's management clearly has its, its back to the wall. The chief executive has vowed that he would step down if this vote doesn't go his way. What, what more can, can Air France possibly do? Well, they can talk about what uh, our demands are and not answering uh, somewhere else. I mean, we didn't ask for Janayak to uh, to uh, put his uh, his uh, seat on the stage, but it's something he decided to do, and uh, we don't really understand why because he's never been. Uh, taking place in the uh, negotiations. Now, I've spoken with employees at Air France uh, in the run-up to this interview, and uh, they say that the SNP, they've lost, they, they think that the SNPL has lost focus on what it wants. Well, I'd say no, because we have been uh, continuing on the same demands since the beginning. We have even reduced our demands to let dialogue advance and to sort of go into compromise. And I'd say it's the company that's trying to take advantage of our demands to put other things on the table and uh, trying to uh, take advantage of this situation. Now, you, you've called for employees at Air France to, to vote no at this internal referendum. Uh, so what happens then? The, the chief executive resigns, and then you're going to have new management in place, interim management at first, and then a new management in place. That means your demands will be pushed back even further. Well, it depends. Uh, if we can continue with the uh, management uh, right now mm -hmm. with uh, Gilles Gatto, He's head of human resources. So we can continue negotiating with him. We can continue negotiating with uh, Frank Terner, Director General, and it uh, uh, doesn't have to stop. Uh, uh, Jean Marginac will be replaced, his functions will be taken over by someone else, things that don't have to be pushed over. Of course, that's the fear the company wants to set on the employees to let them think, OK, if you say no, it's going to be complicated, it's going to, there's no issue, and there is an issue. It just is through dialogue with the union reps. Bertrand Ibarra, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us on the program, and we're going to hand it back, Jeannie. Thanks. Thanks so much to you, Delano, and to you, Beltran, and thanks to you for watching France 24. Stay with us.